<laughs> Welcome to Geek Girl Con's Month of Literature, where we're celebrating everything. Reading, storytelling, books, you name it. If it is related to literature or printed media, we are probably celebrating it. But um, so I'm Janae. I am part of the Twitch team, uh, pronouns she, her. Um, I have black hair tied up in a low bun, uh, dark frame glasses, and a white t-shirt. Um, and I am joined by, I'll kick it over to Miriam. I, I thought Emerald was going to go first, so I was like <laughs> mentally zoned out for a second. Um, my name is Miriam, pronouns she, her. I am uh, with the Twitch team, uh, content producer, and I will pass it on to the star of the stream, Emerald. Well, hello, my name is Emerald, pronouns are she, her. I'm the community communications manager for Geek Girl Con. And today I'm going to be walking us through some basic bookbinding terms, and we're going to be making a few basic books. Oh, and I'm, uh, I have glasses, and I'm wearing a gray shirt with a library card on it, and it says, that's how we roll on it. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, the pun counter. So oh. somebody better make that happen. You've already got the pet counter going. I, I was on that one, but then I was like, oh, my phone. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay but emerald before we get started on how to find books a quick yes. icebreaker question for us okay. is what is the latest book you read based off of its cover Ooh. well i haven't read this one book but this is the most recent book that i bought based off its cover why do you take that back i'm on chapter three it's called shady hollow by Juno Black, and it says it's a murder mystery, but it looks Ooh. like this. It looks like and a comfy, so like a, a comfy mystery, mm -hmm. a cozy mystery. Well, so far mm -hmm. what I know is that it takes place um, in, like, all the characters are woodland creatures, so Ooh. it seems pretty cozy so far. This is the detective, Vera Vixen, or she, sorry, she's a reporter, Vera Vixen. Oh. Um, so this is the most recent book I bought based on its cover. How about you? Um, mine is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which is also the book we will be reading for book club this month. But <gasps> one, I liked the colors. And then two, um, the cover is based off of the Great Wave um, oh, Japanese yeah. painting, but it's like a feels like it's been like a pixelated like game up game video game version of that painting um so i was very curious as to how one macbeth it tied into the painting of the great wave and they do explain it in the book so join us for the end of the month for book club and i guess i guess i haven't gotten to the part where they explain it yet but Oh, Looking forward ooh, to it. Okay. Yeah, you've got a couple more weeks to get to that part. Oh no, I think oh, we no, have lost Miriam. Miriam, Miriam no, come back. Come I back. think she was having internet issues. Okay. Oh no. Oh, now we look all all split and fun. Ooh. I, I do like, like the cover tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh, I tried okay. to like I, come uh, to the. I'm right in the like corner here. so you can see me. Hello. <laughs> We're stalling until Mary can get back, maybe. But I love tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I feel like oh, the color choices on it were really fun. Like the, the text is in like a, that bright yellow. Yeah. It like looks nice against the wave. Mm-hmm. Miriam. Anyways. Um, do you have your bookbinding supplies ready, Janae? Yes, I do. Do you want to run us through what they are? Um, sure. So for th today, we're going to be making two books. One's fold only and one's sew. So you just need paper. Eh, computer paper is fine. Okay. Um, you'll need some scissors. This is what scissors look like. These are fabulous. Um, 
You can use a ruler if you want. If you happen to have this tool, it's called a bone folder or a bone knife, and it's used for creasing the edges of paper. So that what can about be helpful. Scissors, scissors can <laughs> also do that, or okay. your ruler, or your fingernail, or many things. Okay. Um, yeah. And then a needle and some thread. I'm going to be using yarn to try to make it show up nicely. Oh, and oh, we're going to help. <laughs> okay. It's that a being such a me. stereotypical cat right now. <laughs> Let's go. Can you, can you not, sir? Sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir. Briscoe. Hi. Come sir. here. There you go. Aww. Um, yeah, and that is really about it. I don't know if I said more on the. Oh, I think there was a. Did you? Do we need construction paper? Oh, yeah, different... something. It doesn't matter what kind of paper. Um, if you, I would recommend two different types of paper for the second one. Something for the inside, and something you want to use like as a cover. So I have some egg paper as an option and i got out some fun scrapbooking paper that we can look at too that is fun for the cover of mine and i brought some examples and i made some examples some slapdash examples beforehand so we'll see okay yay i realized i brought the wrong scissors i have fabric scissors not paper cutting scissors no and, your mom's gonna be so mad at you i know okay i see my other pair of scissors so i'm going to shimmy over there while you talk about okay. book binding <laughs> Bookbinding is very fun. The books that we're going to be making today are very easy. One, all you need is a piece of paper and folding. So it's a book that you can make anywhere. And then the second one is probably the easiest book you will be able to make. It You have to poke three holes in it. And it's just called a single signature book. And a signature is just, oh, no, she's gone again. I know. Okay. We shall forge on in her absence but we got this hopefully she'll be able to join us Crisco, can you okay. not sit right there on my paper Crisco no, wants okay. to sit on the paper okay <laughs> it's what very comforting <laughs> i guess yeah it's, it's like a nice soft it's not actually construction paper it's like chalk paper it's like black paper that you're supposed to use um, pastels on oh, so it is very yeah. soft yeah. but he's being a little jerk face about it move okay so first we're gonna make what's called an x book or it's also called you know is it also called a tweet book, book? just a twitter book no Okay. No, it's not. I refuse to call Twitter X. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. That, that's my opinion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this book calls it. Um, so I also have a bunch of uh, books here as ex example books. So Ooh. if we have time at the end, I'll, we can do a quick lit review of like, oh, which one of these books should you get if you're interested in blah, blah, blah. So we have lots of resources here. Ooh about bookbinding, publishing, book art, and more. Oh my gosh. So, but this book calls it um, just a basic instant book. Um, it's also okay. a, like a, a format that a lot of people use for making their own zines. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah. So, Ah, uh -huh. oh, and this uh, this is the slapdash version that I made up beforehand. It ends up looking like this four page book okay. or okay. title, and you know, two pa two pages or one, two, three, four, depending on how you count them. Um, this was made with the larger size, the nine by seventeen. If you make it with a conventional 
piece of computer paper, eight and a half by eleven. It's gonna look like this. Still very oh, cute. Look. Perfect little book for your cat, you know. Huh. So that's what we're gonna be doing first. Uh, so Jay, do you have com computer paper that you're using? Or are you yes, using a big piece like this? I have regular printer paper and I okay. also have a paper cutter. Ah, candy, if excellent. needed. I grabbed this instead of a ruler. So ah, it's ah, great. I'm on edge, it, I assume. It has least. a built-in ruler, but only up to three inches. <laughs> so I will walk you through this and then if need be, I can make another one. Um, do you want me to use the big piece of paper so it's kind of easier to see? Or do you want me to use a computer piece of paper so it looks the same as yours? Ooh, let's use the big one. Okay. For visual purposes. Visual aid. All right, let me do my very complicated Whoa. camera maneuver. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Did it, is that is this good? Can you see? Yes, yes, we can see. Cool. And now you can see my shirt. It says that's how we roll on it. I love it. Also, Thank this you. reminds me the in Ballard for the uh, is it May Day? I think um, they have a parade, and it's um, or maybe it's some like Swedish independence. Anyways, there's a parade and. The librarians always have a float, but it's like they bring their the library cards and with the books on them and they push them along the parade route. It's fabulous. I love the library. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're gonna do with your piece of paper is you're going to fold it uh, do you remember like hot dog hamburger style from when you were a kid? Yes, I still, gonna... I still use that. Awesome, terminology. because that's how I'll tell you. You're gonna fold it the long way, so you're gonna fold it hot dog oh, style hot dog. first. Yeah. Right. And if you, the best way to get like the line straight is to start in the middle of where you're folding. So this is me just using my hand, but if you're gonna use your phone folder, put it out. And to go to one end, pressing down, oh. and then the other end. Oh. That way you're, in theory, more likely to, have, you know, not have like a warped spot in the middle. Oh, that's smart. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm now once using... you have folded it hot dog style, then you're going to unfold it. Oh my goodness. Oh. What is this oh, my God, work. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you are going to turn it 90 degrees and fold it hamburger style. Okay. The same thing. Yeah. So you'll yeah. have, you know, four quadrants at this point. Okay. After you press and press down as hard as you can on those uh, edges so they're nice and sturdy. You can use your nail if you don't have a bone folder like this and you're following along. Handles of your scissors, yes, will be fine. Or if you have a very hard plastic ruler like this one, you can use that. Or if you have very hard nails, you can also use that. I used my nails for a long time, so totally fine. You must um, also have very good calcium um, mm -hmm. levels if your nails are very hard. Like, I guess I must. Yeah. <laughs> That's something to be proud of. Oh, thank you. No osteoporosis for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then after you've folded it both hamburger style and hot dog style, then you're going to unfold it again. And this time along the hamburger way, you're going to take the edge and bring it to the middle. Okay. If that makes sense. Yes. Okay. okay. And we're going to fold it again. Mm -hmm. Okay on both sides. Okay. Oh, both sides. Okay. So now I've kind of got like a French door. Yes. 
Okay. Welcome to my uh, well, chateau. Yeah, thank you. I was starting to think of any French word, honestly. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> <laughs> what would a croissant fold look like? Ooh, I don't know. Like, hmm, that was a great question. And I don't know. That one exists. And if not, we could invent one for sure. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now if you unfold it, you'll see that you have eight little uh, rectangles, little little squares there marked out with your fold. And those are going to be your pages. Oh, you did. Yeah, perfect. Nailed Yay. it. Yay. <laughs> so now you unfold it again and you fold it back in half. Okay, Eat hot dog. Hamburg hamburger. 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 Yeah. <laughs> or or the torta is what chat is um suggesting as well oh oh okay. i think actually i don't know which way is which torta and taco <laughs> I, I support that um now anyway, we're gonna... we might have hey, a miriam welcome. back Yay. sorry i had some internet problems <laughs> Hey, no problem, no worries. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm it's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna try to speed run through the first twenty minutes I missed. <laughs> sure. Fold it hot dog style. Fold it hamburger style. Then unfold the whole thing and fold the hamburger ends to the middle, and then you'll be where we are. You got all that right. Uh, I'll pretend I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Here's a. Um, let's see if I put this here, will you be able to see it? Is it right side up? It is right side it up. It is right side up. Okay. Cool. I think I got it. If I Hot dog study. style, hamburger style, and then fold the ends into the middle. And now we're on step D. We're going to make the one and only cut needed to make this zine life book. And that is from, uh, so at the, the middle where it's folded, you're going to cut down the middle to the next fold line. So just from here to here with your scissors. Okay. My non-fabric scissors. Your non-fabric scissors, unless you want your mom to be mad at you. No. <laughs> yeah, me, I, me neither. I don't want your mom to be mad at me either. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yes, perfect. Now you're going okay. to open that bad boy up and place it flat on the table so that the middle fold here is making like a little tent in the middle. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to grab each side. So if it's a like mouth in the middle, so it's like, hello, Janae, I'm your book. Oh, man. It's like a howler. Okay. okay. It's like a howler. And then you're just going to lift and pull them out what? to the side. What? Yeah. This is magic. I know. It is it is oh, origami-ish. Oh, my And then you're this just going to reverse fold along those other folds that you made. And, you oh, know, just gosh. flatten it out, basically. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Feel free to press down with your scissors, your ruler, your calcium, uh, amazing nails, whatever. And then there you have your little book. Oh my gosh. So easy to make. If you can remember how to make it, you can make them any, you know, anywhere. I went to um, uh, like a maker fest where they did their programs like this. It was like very cute. So DIY what program it. Oh, <gasps> amazing! Yeah, oh, so cute! Yay! Yay. Um, it's fun if you do if you try it with um a patterned paper. That can be a fun thing to do. Um, to just to get like visually like which sides are gonna have stuff on them and not. It's basically like it would none of it would be seen, but it can be helpful if you if you're struggling with it. Cool. Yeah, and then so then if you wanted to print like on your computer, you would print everything all on one side, but some of them would have to be upside down. 
Ta -da. Ta -da. And that's how you do it. Is there a way to use this same method but get more um, pages? Or is uh, or the max? I, I don't know if there's a way you might be able to do. Just even this is pretty, I mean, well, if you're using printer paper, it's not too thick, but it's still kind mm -hmm. of thick, right? Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't. I don't know one offhand, I guess, is the answer to your question. Um, there may be one, but probably would be only one more. But you could always make a bunch of them and then... Or like stick them together and then find yeah. them. Yes. Yeah, oh. exactly. Precisely. Interesting. Yeah. You would make like cute little cards to give to someone if you wanted to make like a little booklet. It's like a mm -hmm. card. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Very perfect cute. prize for Briscoe. <laughs> the good night yarn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In bookbinding terms, if you took a bunch of these and did bind them all together, each one of these would be called a signature. That is just a term for a bunch of folded papers together. And that's how books are made. Uh -huh. I wonder how they came up with that name, like how a group of flamingo flamboyants, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about the history of that word, but. Tell me the etymology. <laughs> I do know. Yeah. I don't know anything <laughs> about bugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was the basic instant book or the X book Ooh. or the zine <laughs> format. No yeah. tools needed, only folding. And scissors, I guess. And scissors, yeah. Oh, yes, you need scissors. But you could always, you know, I don't know, chew it apart. I, yeah. Or if, you're, if your folds it. were sharp enough, yeah, you could tear it. Mm hmm So are you ready to make the second book? Yes. yes. I think we're ready for the, the next Oh, boy. The chapter. next level. The next chapter. Oh, get out. This is called a single signature book. And this is an example I have. This black paper is the, you know, cover. And then inside, I have my single signature, which is a bunch of pieces of paper that are, have been folded together at the same time. Ooh. Okay. And then Ooh. they are stitched together in the middle Ooh. using three holes. One, two, three. Okay. And I have some other examples here. This little one. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. This other little one in with construction paper is, or cardstock. It's pretty hefty. It's the same style and you can see it has the string on you can see the string on the outside kind of oh. um so these don't have oh yeah this one just has a darker thread so you can't see it as well and then this even teeny tiny little book oh it is cute Ta -da. so, so the first excited. thing you're gonna want to do is well are you going to use have like a cover that's okay. I guess, the first thing you need to decide you don't have to you can just do it <laughs> you can just have a brisco <laughs> yeah brisco is don't show the world your plot yeah oh, my child child. Is <laughs> inappropriate he really wants his own book <laughs> really does. He heard like, you. He was like, Good night stories for Briscoe? Yes, please. It's like, I am the book. Mm -hmm. It's true. Oh my gosh. Okay. How many pages, how many pieces of paper do you recommend? I would recommend four. Okay. And then once you fold them in half, that will be an eight page book. Okay. Which yeah. is uh, kind of the. Uh, best number for books. Uh, books are usually printed in uh, 
denominations. Is that the right word? Or is, what's the opposite of denominations? Groups? Mm. I don't know. Groups of eight. Okay. <laughs> um, because like you just learned in our folding exer book exercise, that's how many you get with a piece of paper. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So a lot, you'll see a lot of children's books are like 32 pages or some. Okay, sure. Lay right there. That's fine. Everything is fine. You're such a ding dong. So I recommend four pieces of paper with no cat sitting on them, just to clarify. Okay. And then if you wanted to have a cover in like a construction paper or a different patterns paper, like one of these fun ones that I brought, you would also want that one on there too. Okay. So that's in addition to the in four. addition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I really think we just need a cat cam. Um both like a cat cam on Frisco. Um, to see where he goes off on his adventures and then mm -hmm. a cat cam where it's like in a room and then you get to watch Briscoe do a bunch mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah. Fridays with Briscoe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I would watch that. Oh, wait, I do watch that frequently. Oh. Wait, are we folding? So in are, do, are you going to have a cover is, is a yes. question. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then you, if usually you would want your cover to be slightly bigger, um, yeah. but in the, okay. if you can't, in this case, that's fine. See, so with this example, I cut a piece of paper slightly bigger, both on the top and bottom, but like a lot on the sides so it can make a little protecty jacket. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> well. And if you want it to be super extra fancy with your signature too, your second layer in between would be, um, you know, a patterned paper or something fun. And then you would glue the outside of the paper to the jacket side. And that would be called the end paper. Oh. Just like the pretty paper on the inside of a book jacket. That's just like a fun marbled pattern or something. I have been wow. enlightened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is, is this going to be my next thing for the next month? Maybe. To make a bunch uh, of books. You should if you want it to be. Oh my gosh. Okay. You should do it. And then like, you're a very, you're a great artist too. And you should like fill it with all little sketches yeah like a little sketch. everyone i'm gonna have yeah. like a comic book <laughs> yes. 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 yes and two yes yes okay so yes. you should i yeah. use this typewriter paper or this like ye old building paper for my cover oh Willing to listen to chat on this too. Yeah. I vote uh, for the ye old paper. Oh man, I was gonna go for typewriter. Oh no, Ooh. somebody oh, no. break the oh, tie. No, no. Chat, no tie breaker. Yeah, chat needs to break the tie. Crisco, which one do you want? He doesn't Frisco care. Crisco's the least comfortable one. Well, I can take the softer one and lay on it. <laughs> oh, chat like, says you all. Ye okay, old. Cool. Ye old. Ye old. Ye old. Perfect. Perfect. Right, Brisco? Wow, oh, he. We've got to add that to our pun counter. Mm, get. Mm, eh. I have a lot of cat puns in my head now since see meow is coming up. <gasps> oh, yeah, this weekend. Uh, Not this weekend, next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. <laughs> I knew nice it was try. August, but yeah, yeah. It's not Usually that far in August yet, Janae. Oh, it I feels guess. like it is though, but really uh, good. Is it? Okay, I am 
thinking of trimming my white paper a little bit down so it fits better in the mm. book. So it sticks That's out just like a little bit. Yeah. And usually I would use a paper cutter to do this part, but not today. Not today. I'm just going to freehand it. Yeah. I admire <laughs> that. It's totally lopsided, and that's okay. Okay. So once you have your pieces of paper, you want to, here's the thing that I frequently mess up. You want to fold them all together at the same time. Oh, dear. So don't, like, the four pieces of paper. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Don't fold them all separately and then put them together. Fold them all as one. Okay. So you need to go. <laughs> he's a he's quality control. You need to go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Well, he got okay. some Briscoe deterrent on the book, but that's okay. AKA water. Oh. <laughs> It's Briscoe approved now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm folding. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, chat is very excited for the, honestly, while I do love the warmth that summer brings here, after a few days, I'm like kind of over this, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but I feel like I'm also, it's when I'm like, it's so hot. It's like 78 degrees. <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I don't do well in hot weather, so. You might come back and find I have melted. Yeah. I actually thrive in this kind of weather. Um, I find it like just perfect. And everyone else is like, mm, it's hot. I'm like 80 degrees. Yes, finally. <laughs> You're like um, nothing. Yeah, it's well, I mean, I I lived in Karachi for a bunch of years. And over there, it's like 100 and humid in March. Oh, yeah. So, this is this is like ideal weather for me. It's it's wonderful. It's beautiful. But I am also kind of a little over it and can't wait for like the fall breeze. Mm -hmm. It's like eighty really isn't that. Mm. Uh, it's a it's I mean. We don't have I'm very grateful we do not have like the one hundred the the twenty days of hundred and nineteen plus weather that like mm -hmm. Phoenix is getting. Yes, no thank you. Yeah. No. None for me, thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah. I feel like Seattle does really have the ideal weather. It, the summers here the summers. are the best. They're the best. Yeah. I think I it really helps. Helps that our winters are very depressing, that our summers look <laughs> feel even better. Mm -hmm. It's like a comparison. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster. You gotta go down, you gotta go up to go down, or yeah. other way around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it, like, yeah, so, it's, so, uh, it's an analogy. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all fine. Yeah. You guys get my point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are your papers all folded? Yes. Okay. I did. I did the four. I forgot the other one. That's okay. one second. Continue though. No you don't worries. have to use. <laughs> so I forgot to. I might have forgotten to mention that you sh might need a pencil in your supplies. So um, if you don't have one, you should get one or a pen. A pen is fine. Oh, okay. Pen. I can do a pen very easily. I have one. Okay. So then you're going to make a pencil mark in the middle of your signature. Frisco. Okay. Which if you're using printer paper is at 4.25. 
And then if you have a different oh. sized hover, you still want that one to be in the middle of that piece of paper. Okay. What's half of 9.25? 4 point, uh, a little over 4.5. Oh, boy. 4.65? Six. Cool. Love that burpee. Yeah. <laughs> Usually for that, I just switch the scale over from, like, inches to centimeters or vice oh, versa. Oh, that's to Wise. make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> I support that. So that's your middle oh. hole. You're going to make two more holes. So on your signature, you want to measure out mm -hmm, probably with the printer paper three inches out. So your last hole is like, but you want it to be like between one and one and three quarters of an inch from the edge, probably. So that'll vary okay. depending on what type size paper you use. But on mine, I'm just going to measure out three inches because that's a good number. That lands in a good place. And then I'm also going to measure out from the middle of my cover three inches. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Just make a little pencil hole so I know where to put my holes. feel like a craftsman. <laughs> you are a craftsman. So you said how the second the outside hole or how far away from the edge did you recommend? Uh like between one that. and one and three quarters inches from the edge. Okay. Like one and two inches. I mean just depends on how big the paper is. Because you okay. want it to be close enough to the edge so that it's sturdy, but not too close to the yeah. edge that it's like in danger of tearing out. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. And then next, you're going to need an awl or a nail. I don't have an awl, so I'm using a nail. You could also use anything sharp. You could use your scissors, you could use a toothpick. You could use one of these skewery things. You could even use a whole bunch or a pencil. You cool. could use a pencil if it was sharp. I, I pulled a nail out of a wall. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have respect. A, a, thumb, a, a thumb pin would also be a good alternative. Mm -hmm. oh. so depending on how um, thick your uh, what you're using to bind the book with. So if you're using something like a wax thread or like embroidery floss, that would be good. If you're using something thicker like twine or like I'm gonna be using yarn, that could be a good place to start, but then you might need to put like a pencil in there to get it to a good size. Okay, and then I just poke, poke it. Yeah, so I recommend if you fold it, if you put your, hold your book open and then place your sharp thing where you made that hole, and then fold it in half. And then you can kind of do a little twisting motion and away from yourself, preferably, so you don't stab yourself until you've made a nice sized. Oh, Frisco, really, you can't be there. Get, get, go on, get, get out of here. Get out of here. We don't want your kind here. I'm just kidding. I love you. All right, so there's my. Folded signature with a single hole. Okay, we're getting there. Baby. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I I understand why you paper now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Emerald, what kind of string would be best to use for binding? The best string is a waxed uh, thread. Um, then it's gonna hold up. It's gonna hold up better. 
It's going to move through the pages easier. Embroidery floss is pretty good. Just regular thread is fine. I think I used on um, those examples I showed you earlier. I just used regular, like regular thread that was like from the sewing machine. Like on a. Did you double that thread or anything? Um, just just double it thread. once. Like I don't know uh, how you thread your needles, but I always thread mine so they are doubled automatically. Like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, think I, I barely got. I'm not going to do that with this yarn. Well, maybe I, I just should actually. Uh, will I have enough? I don't think I'll have enough if I do that, though. So I'm just going to get a different piece of yarn. <sighs> Because once you have your three holes poked in there, you are ready to thread your needle if you haven't already. Go on without me. Wait, <laughs> did we poke the holes on the cover too or no? Yes, on the cover also. Oh, and you oh. my bad. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you was like, oh, oh, we just made whole, we just made like marks on there and didn't do anything. And with that one, just make sure you start with the middle hole and then measure out. Don't measure in from the sides because it won't be the same place if it's slightly bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Smart. Oh, I was so off on that one. <laughs> Don't know. Scissors exist, so keep that in mind. Oh, I just poke the hole on the side instead of the center, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if a scissor can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay, I think like it's fine. It's still whole. I can see through it, so okay, we're good there. Okay. Okay. Gotta do the cover. <laughs> no pressure. Oh. I just broke my needle threader. No. That's on me. That's on me for trying to use it. Oh, this thick yarn. Eek. How I much of this thread way. would we need? Um, you would need. Um, let's see. I would recommend like about three times the height of your book. You need enough to make a knot and then connect. The top hole to the bottom hole at least twice and then enough to tie a secure knot at the end okay i it totally lost me on that but i'm just gonna make sure i have ample <laughs> ample ample always is a good fine answer oh no but remember to have double what you think is ample because you want to pull your your thread all the way through your needle <laughs> Very concentrated here. Okay. Silence, I need to concentrate on this one strand I have through the needle. Hey, I got it. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get tangled with the thread. 
<laughs> okay. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but oh well. Give it a whirl. Believe in you. What it says in the book, I was looking for your, uh, what it says in this book that I'm using about how much thread and what type of thread you need is it says any type of thread and then wax it yourself. And I'm like, mm, I'm not going to do that. Um, how does one do that? You just, just roll it. it through wax, I think. Like candle wax? Yeah, Crayon? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I missed the part where do I have to knot one of the ends of the thread? Um, you should have enough thread to, if you look at my example here, you want to actually pull it all the way through so you have two equal ends. Oh, okay. And then okay. tie, yeah, tie them together at the bottom. Okay, okay. Like so. I'm actually not going to do that because I don't know if I'll have enough yarn if I do. So do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Let's thread this needle. I always am really like paranoid about the knot at the end coming undone. So I was like knotted a bunch of times over and over again, trying to get them in the same spot. So it's like extra big, bulky knot. Oh, yeah. I have the same paranoia when I'm <laughs> um, trying to like repair a button or something. Mm -hmm. I gotta be super secure. Yeah. Okay. You Pretty... don't want that button being undone. No. I know that one single button means all my clothes will fall off. Okay. Whew. I just rubbed my uh, thread over some old candle I had on, sitting on my desk, and it smells really nice stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Smells like roses. I like this. Aww. Is that okay? You know, like there's a new book smell. Is that how mm. that how they get that? They like just from like wax. rub the yeah. Or do you think they just rub it on candles? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about like the decay of the tree or like the paper oh, or something. Oh. Or like the dust buildup. Oh some some you know ununderstandable combination of things so you can if you're like worried about the uh holes not aligning on your subsequent book adventures if you just get like um clo uh, clothes clothes pin or even like a paper clip you can line the holes of your cover and your signature together oh and then Lord. you know put a paper clip or clothespin or something here to hold it steady. It's not absolutely necessary. Um, it will make it a little more exacting. But... So yeah. where do you think we're going to start? The center. Yes. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got. I got the pop quiz right, yay. Congratulations! No. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't have a prize for you, but uh, high five. But you <laughs> will very soon have this your own book. Yeah, yeah, this is my prize. Oh, that's pretty cool. You're going to start at the center of the inside Sorry, with your sorry. needle. And, and take your needle and thread from inside to outside through the signature and through the cover, middle hole. Signature, cover, middle hole. Okay. Okay. So that knot you made at the end of your thread will be in the very center of your book. Ooh. Oh, we definitely made. Cute little exclamation point. The knot. 
big enough. So it's yeah. Like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> So then, on the outside, which is where our thread is now, we're going to take it up and go through, uh, I mean, either hole, uh, the top or the bottom. I'm going through the top and take it back to the inside. And you can do it one at a time. So if you're, like, having trouble getting them lined up because you're like, ah, I don't have any clothespins or paper clips, you can go through cover and then go through the signature because it's still loose enough right now. Ooh, okay. Oh no, I didn't go through all the pieces of paper. So on the inside, you have your start and then your uh, where you're working from. And then on the outside, you want just want to make sure that you, this part here is pulled tight so that it aligns with the spine of your book cover, like so. So this is what it looks like on the back, the cover side. Okay. One single line of thread, your string, yep. And then on the inside, it looks like this. Now, where do you think most? Back to the middle? Yeah! Oh. You oh get a gosh. prize too. Your prize yes, is also a book. book. Hey. <laughs> and then you just do the same thing on the lower hole. So you go through the middle again, and then back through the bottom hole. Wait. Uh. Or whichever hole you didn't already go through. Okay. So I go from the top back to the center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, neat. And then... since there's two pieces in there of, you know, thread or twine or yarn, it might be a little harder to get through. If you're me and you're using yarn, you might be like, oh, get through there. Okay. And then on the back side, we're going to the other. One. Okay. Oh no, the thing happened where the knot went through the hole. I no. wasn't paranoid enough. Oh, it's because my I I stabbed my yarn through my yarn. That's why. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Oop. Oh no. Oh my. I it was me. Okay. And then we go back Hi. through the middle once we're in the inside. Do we cover that? Uh no, because I, I uh you're a, yeah, you're ahead. Girl, oh boy. Oh okay. I will pause. <laughs> Janae's just so excited. I'm yeah. so proud of you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I think ye old E was the way to go. <laughs> I don't know how red would have worked out with the typewriter uh print. Yeah. Well, it might have been kind of fun, the striking. Yeah. True. Well, looked very mm, what's the word? Hop hopping? I don't know if that is even the word. I can't think of the right word, but something like hopping. <laughs> I think that's a fine word. But I just have to re poke my hole back in because uh because of my subpar knot. But then, yeah, we are basically done because then you will just tie a knot. Another knot? I know. A or a bow or a 
I don't know. Uh, half, with this. half hitch. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know those yeah. knots. I know. I'm just saying random things. Don't worry about it. I was about to Google how to do a half hitch knot. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually get that a lot where I'll make a joke, but I'll say it in too serious a tone and people will think I'm serious. I'm going to oh, have to I, re redo mine. I get that a lot too. I have a very dead okay. end face when I make jokes or when I'm very mm. sarcastic and it's very hard for people to pick it up because gotcha. I'll just a straight face and they're like, oh, <laughs> like it was a joke. They're like, Really? Was it? Was like, yes, it was. Yeah, and then they don't believe you, right? You're like, yeah, I. Oh, wait, I missed the part where. Did you just cut the thread? I mean, no, no, no. Don't off. pay attention oh. to what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I, I had to redo mine because of my, my not issue. Oh, uh, okay. But now you'll just get to see it again and so yeah. uh, fast forward through the middle. Wow. Wow. Through the top. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, where is it? There it is. Wow. Wow. Yay. Make sure it's nice and tight. Oh. Yay. Through the middle again. Woo. This time, don't F it up. Okay. Do not disturb the knot. Yes, I'm like, this, this knot needs to stay a little bit away from this other knot. There we go. Yay. 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 Through the bottom. Yay. Halfway wow. there. <laughs> Living on a pair. And then you just, I believe you just tie. Then you know, draw the thread snug. Draw the thread snug. Okay. This is what the back looks like. Yeah, two separate lines of thread. And then what it says to do, tie the thread to the center knot. Yeah, you should be going through the middle again. Right? Wait, sorry, it's been a while oh. since I've done this. Oh no. Says, tie the thread to the center knot by sliding the needle under the thread and drawing a loop around the knot. Oh, okay. So we don't go through the center. We don't go time. through the center a third time. You're just okay, oh, dear. The knot in we'll the middle. Backtrack. If you yeah. did already, that's fine. Uh, I don't know. I I think it's better when you tie the the last knot on the outside, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. What the, the middle of this one looks like it's just a little tiny little loop, a little tiny little loop there. Oh, cute. Um, so if the book is really small, let's say it's like uh, four inches um, for the height, would you only make two holes and not make a center hole? No, I think you would still want to do three. I mean, I'm sure there's a way where you can do it with just two. There's lots of different ways to bind books. But if you were going to use this method for like stability, security sake, I would say probably still use three holes and they would just be very close to each other. Okay. And you would want to use pretty small thread. Um, J Fun asks, is it a corset knot? I don't know what that is. Is that where you go around and then you go through it? through the loop that you made. Oh, so these that's are what the book says to do. These knots are much fancier. I just Let's I don't know see. what I did. I just tangled my thread. <laughs> that's what I did. Also acceptable. I'm just gonna cut mine and tie a cute little knot. Cute little bow. I mean I did the thing that they told you to do in the book, which is to go around the knot underneath 
All right, just try to recreate it here. Around the knot. Oh, what? That's coming from here. Around the knot underneath, like so. And then through that loop that I just made and pulling it. So that is how I made my first knot. But now I wanted there to be a cute little bow in the middle. So when you open the book in the middle, you get a fun surprise. Ooh. Ta-da! Oh, well. Cut off a little too much. But and then that's your book. And that is called a single signature folio. Single signature folio. You have eight pages, the front and back of eight pages in the middle to fill with your delightful sketches or notes or <laughs> portraits of your Geek Girl Con friends. Ooh, beautiful. Time to make a book on how to make a book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then if you had cut, um, you know, a bun like an extra long bit of cover, then that's when you would line it up and fold those over to make like a sleeve type of a thing. Ooh. I oh, should have uh, cut my inside paper down like a tiny bit, but mm. okay. okay, lesson learned. Yeah, it's fine. And, but also you can in theory, do it afterwards when here's what I was actually just going to say is you'll notice when you have folded all your pieces of paper, they actually don't all line up all the way because, you know, the middle ones just keep poking out more and more. Um, so that's called maybe like imperfect binding. And if you take those after they're all folded and then take them over to the paper cutter, then they will oh. have like the straight edge, like an actual book does. Yeah. Ooh, smart. So you could still in theory do that. Okay. Luckily, I have a paper cutter. Will your hey, paper I know cut you do. Through? Eight pages. But will it cut through? Yeah, that is. You could do four and then four. That's awesome. Let's. We will. We shall. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, and that's how you made basic your basic blend. Oh and gosh. Oh and gosh. Oh, oh and gosh. Indeed, let's see it. Ah, so good. Yeah. What are you gonna put in your book? Oh my gosh, Mary oh, Yours matches question. your headscarf. I deliberately picked pink to match my headscarf. <gasps> I love it. I love it. it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. So the books Ooh. that we looked at tonight that I can recommend, this book, How to Make Books, is a very good beginner's guide. And it's also very easy to read. This is the one that had that diagram in it that I just put up on the screen. You know, it looks like this, but was for a different book. Plus, it's got this fun, like, this feels like a made book anyway. Like the, the, uh, it feels like they took the theme and went with it. This one is where I got most of the single signature, the second book we did, but that's in most all of these books. It's just a little uh, harder to read, but it's more professional and it's like, oh, you should use these actual tools. Nah. Nah. Um, Maybe a nail. Books. Yeah, no, I'll just use a nail and also a nail. Yeah. This one is my favorite. It has a really good, it's like really um, comprehensive. So there's a lot of different books inside and uh, it has like a nice like dictionary of terms and tools. And then the books themselves are categorized by what you need to make them. So there's like folded books, books that are only glued, books that are only sewn and um, movable books, you know, different types of books. This is nice and thin. What's a movable book? Um, like a book that has pieces. Um, oh. I don't know how to explain it. I have one 
that I made. Like the ones that slide, like especially like in kids' uh, children's books. Yeah, like with like little pop-up uh... books would be in there or like if like kind of some like origami aspects where, you know, like this fold goes into that slot and things like, mm. let me see what their examples are. Oh, this is actually just very cool. I don't know. This is an example of an X book that's the first book we made, but it has cutouts in it. Whoa. So it oh. looks like space. That is so cool. So that's something you can play with now that you're an expert. An expert bookmaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pop-up card, a flex accordion books. There's a Jacob's Ladder book. A, ooh, a, a tetra, tetra Tetra Flexagon. What is that? I like the name of that. Tetra yeah. Tetra Flexagon. Me too. It's very fun sounding. Oh, I've made this before. Not the Tetra Tetra Flexagon. I made a square Flexagon. It's like a book where you, the way you turn to the next page is you manipulate the paper in like a folding origami type way. Wow. This is what the one that I made looks like. I'll try to find it and I'll show you guys next time I see you. Um, oh. But it's like four squares. And then basically what you do is you hold it in like one at each end and then you move one hand forward and one hand back and then the pieces slide into each other oh. is this? it like one of those infinity cubes where you just like yes oh my wow. gosh that's wow. it's very fun okay what? see i made it for a book binding and printing class that i made and what i printed on it you were supposed to also carve a lino cut and i carved the infinity symbol and I had to like lay, um, you know, letters to print on it. And what I printed in this book was, this is the book that never ends. It's, it can only be four pages. And I was like, this goes on and on my friends. So people started reading it. That, oh, you guys, you know, so it, you could just keep on reading it forever. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So those are some cool books that I can recommend. And that's your intro to bookbinding. Yay! Oh my gosh. Yay! Yay! We are all this now expert bookbinders. Book but I'm so <laughs> curious about the other ones that you shared too. So it feels like we need a literature month part two or something. I mean, that would be fine by me. Would love to get the next step. Could we? We make a bunch of single signatures and then we bind them together. Like have oh like a God. you know in a different sewing method, like the stab by the Japanese stab binding, or uh, there's there are many different ways you can attach multiple signatures. You could do it with glue. Could we do hardcovers too? Can you imagine making your own hardcover <laughs> books? I uh, yeah, I've done that too. You just need some you know thick cardboard, and you need some of that. Um, paper or just I don't remember what this stuff is called the stuff for the edge spine spine binder stuff it's a, like uh. a tape almost tape like yes I know what you're talking about I just don't know the word for it yeah I like I feel like I knew the word and now I don't maybe so, it's in one of the books I'm sure it is I was like I bet I could find it And paper and my book block. No, I can't find it. You'll just have to wonder, and it'll be a mystery until you'll just have to until the next into book binding. Yeah, Unt yeah, until <laughs> the next literature. Yay! The next oh month of literature. Yay! Well, thanks so much, Everald. This yeah. is fun. Yay. I'm glad you yeah. enjoyed yourself. Glad you finally got yeah. in, Miriam. I'm glad I was able to come back in. I was like, oh no, do I have to quit? I don't no. want to quit. No, we aren't quitters here. No, -uh. no, -uh. I, I, I fought with my modem and then came back up. <laughs> You're a winner. Yes. A winner yeah. who knows how to make books. 
Yeah. I can add that to my skill sets now. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. But to continue our month of literature on Thursday, let's see. J Fun and Prime are playing. I'm going to stumble over this. Inculinati. 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 Okay. It, I it have is to tell you. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to explain the game. Give the summary. No, explain it and then I'll, oh, do, okay. I'll do a tag on about the game. Okay. Okay. I will read the summary. <laughs> Uh, um, it is an ink-based strategy straight from medieval manuscripts. You become a master of the living ink, build your own bestiary, defeat medieval superstars, and collect perks to unleash hidden powers. And their other additional fun tagline is, where a rabbit's bum can be deadlier than a dog's sword. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Go in. Then that's oh, on Thursday. Exciting. Yeah. And then let's see, on Tuesday, J Fun and Emerald's going to be back. We're going to do crochet bookmarks to put in your book that you Ooh. just made. I feel like if I lost my spot in this eight page book, I could pretty <laughs> easily find it again. <laughs> that's sure. true. But... <laughs> but it will look pretty cool. Yeah. It will look pretty cool. It's just like a collection of all the book stuff from this <laughs> month. Yeah. Oh, you could okay. use it to like write your thoughts about book the book club book for discussion. Oh, oh yeah. take my notes. You yeah. can also use it to make uh like a mini recipe book for yeah. our third Tuesday stream, which would be the uh the drinks that are based off of books. Yes. Literary. Literary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Look at okay. us. We're promoting all of our streams. All Yay! Of the day. <laughs> Yay. We remembered okay. most of them. We did it. All right. Well, we'll say good night, everyone, and thanks for joining and see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye. Bye.